today we are in York for the fourth PHPC event of the 2023 season. It is very hot and sunny. The track has a challenging hairpin and quite a few turns, so it is not the fastest for Velomobiles. The first race is a slow race for 50 minutes plus one lap. That race has all kinds of bikes, Velomobiles, low racer, trikes, and cycles, and even mountain bikes. After the first lap, Tim McDonald in the Milan SL Velomobile is leading the race. Nigel Slick on his challenge Chester Lowesser is not far behind. John Lermont in his Wolf Velomobile is in third place. Followed by James Baldison on his windshield trike. Peter Hodgson on his prototype trike is in fifth place. There is already a huge distance between the leaders and the back of the field. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile is flying ahead, closely followed by Nigel Slick. John Lermont in his Wolf Velomobile is third. The Wolf Velomobile is an interesting design, as the nose and the tail of the vehicle can be detached. Don Shackley is riding an Alpha 9 Velomobile. Tim McDonald is his Velo SL Velomobile is still leading ahead of Nigel Slee. It is hard to race against Velomobiles, as the draft from them is very limited. If I was not living in a big city, I would probably ride a Velomobile, although the price for those has risen dramatically here in the UK. Spencer Moon here is riding a seemingly lightweight carbon mountain bike. Nigel C. on his challenge Jester has now caught up with Tim McDonald. It is a very tight race for the lead. Everybody else is scattered far behind. The difference in speed between the riders is huge. Difficult to say who is going to win. This is the RP, the most challenging turn of the track. Spencer Moon, his mountain bike, has no issue with it, but he's not riding fast enough for it to be an issue. The trikes have no issue either. The faster riders can't really pedal here as they would be going too fast. Nigel C has taken a sizable lead. John Lermont in his Wolf Velomobile is still in third place, as he is lapping James Ebelwhite on his Fujin SL2. The riders here are on different laps. Nigel C is overtaking the back markers. He is still followed by Tim McDonald in his yellow Milan SL Velomobile. Major Lee on his challenge Jester, I racer is still flying ahead. He's quite a distance away from Tim McDonald. James Lermont in his Wolf Velomobile is in third place, one lap behind. Nigel Slee now seems to have an unsayable lead, but it is still only less than 30 seconds. The finish here is challenging as the finish line is right after a fast turn. It is hardly possible to overtake if the rider in front takes a wide turn. That's going to be interesting in the fast race.
but you would not believe it. Tim McDonald has overtaken Nigel C in the last lap and wins the race. Now is the time for the fast race. John Lucian, on his Pelso Brevet, is on the left. Lee Wexfield, in his Milan SF Velomobile, is slightly ahead. I'm having a good start, and I am taking the lead. Ahead of Lee Wexfield, in his Snug Velomobile, and Euron Farver, on his M5 Low Racer. Lee Wexfield, in his Snug Velomobile, is now on my tail. It is currently said to be the most aerodynamic Velomobile. I'm expecting him to overtake me easily. That's it. He was in the snow. The mobile is overtaking me and is taking the lead of the race. He's slowly vanishing in the distance. Yuen on his M5 low racer has now caught up with me. We are lapping Kim Wall on her Optima Baron low racer. Yuen on his M5 low racer is now overtaking me. He's currently winning the championship, so I can't let him go. We are lapping Pete Watson on his Pelkey mid racer. We are now lapping Jerry Charles Woods on his rat racer. We can still see the snug Velmobile in the distance. We are, now we are lapping the Watsons in their streamliners. They tend to have a very inconsistent performance. Sometimes incredibly fast, other times plagued by technical issues. Now we are lapping Dan Bergonzi on his low racer and John Lucian on his Pelso Brevet. And we are lapping Kim Wall on her Optima Baron. We have now caught up with Lee Wexfield in his Milan SL Velomobile. It is quite unusual. We are visibly taking the airplane faster than him. We should still have the upper end in the straight. I am launching an acceleration, as I don't want to be stuck behind a back marker in the upcoming turn. I can see I am not going fast enough to get away, so I am backing off. Yet again, I'm taking the airplane faster than the snug Velomobile, and I am taking the lead. The UX in the snug Velomobile overtakes me back. Johan Farver on his M5 low racer is accelerating. I am taking his wheel. Libex wheel is taking my wheel. Backing off as we are approaching the turn. We 
a finally dropped Will Westfield in his club Velomobile. Maybe he is suffering from the heat in the Velomobile, as it is very hot today. We are now lapping Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Half Streamliner, which is more like a canoe on wheels. Now the battle is on for the win between me and Duran. I am usually the favorite if I am still in the lead group at the end of the race, but I have not performed well so far this year. I have to be careful not to let a group of slow ri slower riders between me and him. Here we are lapping Dan Bergonzi, John Lucian and Jack Watson. Now we are lapping Pete Watson again. We are lapping Kim Wall on her Optima Baron again. We are lapping Simon Watson again. It is very unusual that two unfair bikes are leading a BHPC race in that way. Maybe it is caused by the sharp turns or the hot weather. Joran seems to be getting away as I'm losing time in a turn, but he slowed down by Lee Wexfield in the snug Velmobile, so I am safely back on his wheel. We can't really accelerate right before the airpin. We are now lapping Lee Wexfield in his slug Velomobile. I think he must be overheating, as there is no way we could take as much distance if he was going at the usual speed. In the end, the camera ran out of battery, and I won the race ahead of Euron on his M5 low racer. Now is the time for the second slower race. I have missed the start. John Lermont in his white Wolf Velomobile is leading the race, ahead of Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile. Nigel Slee on his challenge low racer is in third place. James Baldison on his windshield recumbent is in fourth place, which means he is leading the unfair multi track classification for that race, as there are no track in the faster race. The two Velomobiles are still leading the race, but James Lermont in his Smurf Velomobile has an ever so slightly faster pace. Nigel C on his low racer is quite a long way behind in third place. John Lermont in his Wolf Velmobile is much faster than in the first race. Maybe he had issues with the heat in the long first race the same way as Lee Wexfield in his snug Velomobile. This is the final lap. Tim McDonald's is more than 10 seconds behind the leader. It is going to be hard to win. Chief Harvey will take the maximum points for the Uncycles classification. Peter Ocean has overtaken James Baldison to take the lead of the unfair trials and the first place. 
James Hermont in his wife Velmobile has won the race. Tim McDonald in his million SL Velmobile is in second place. Now is the time for the final race. 15 minutes plus one lap. This time it is probably too short to make the snook Velmobile overheat. I'm having a good start, like in the first race. Also, Lee Wexfield in the Snug Velmobile is ahead. Joran on his M5 Loweser is right behind. I'm attacking straight away. It seems to be working as the gap with Joran is growing. After a few kilometers, Loen on his M5 Loeso is coming back. He is overtaking me. We are lapping Jerry Charles Wood on his rat racer. We are lapping Pete Watson. We are lapping Jared Sarloods on his rat racer yet again. We are lapping Kim Wall on her Optima Baron Low Racer. I am launching an attack at the airpin exit. I'm actually not sure when the end of the race is. I might have attacked too early. Yoen on his M5, Loweser is overtaking me back as I'm running out of power. He's launching an attack. And it looks as if I'm dropped. This is the final straight, which is not that straight. I'm having a last ditch attempt to get the second place beyond Lee Wakesfield. This is going to be very tight. I'm getting the second place. 